Hello and welcome to all you Aryans people out there. Have a good month for the month of October because you're going to have a lunar eclipse in your sign at 25 degrees of Aries. So um, this is your monthly horoscope for October. But as this lunar eclipse is so important, I have made a separate video on that particular lunar eclipse in your sign. So check out if you want to know more details uh, about it. I have put a link below this video. So this is a lot about you, uh, Aries, uh, you Aries out there. It's a lot about you. It's a lot about new starts. It's a lot about fulfillments as well. And it's a lot about new ideas and good ideas. And I'll talk about that in a minute. But how does it start the week? The first week may start with a bit of friction, but not that you can't handle as a good Aries. Um, there is this sun in the seventh house, which is the house of relationships. Even if you don't have a relationship, this seventh house is highlighted and it triggers the Pluto Uranus square. So there are things that are going to come up that um, has or that pushes you into taking action in a different way because Pluto and Uranus want to transform, they want to shift, they want to liberate and you like that. Most Aries people, they do like liberty, they do like uh, to feel that they are independent and doing stuff for themselves. So it could be that the, the close person or the person who is close to you or maybe a business partner in, um, uh, that you are having a, uh, a business with, that there are some frictions there. But that energy is just a couple of days during the first week of October, but is a good prompt to what is happening at the lunar eclipse, which is around the middle of October. So at the 18th of October, this eclipse happens in your sign. So the moon will be in your sign and the sun will be in your opposite sign. It is very much about you and your strong needs that you will feel. So something will come up that probably was triggered by that other person that is close to you or as I said, by a business partner or by clients if you work with, with people or if you don't have a relationship. Something that is happening around other people and that you see that your needs and your wants, that they are so very much alive that you need to take action upon that. And I know that um, uh, a lot of books describe uh, Aries as a sign that is impatient and as a sign that is impulsive and that is a sign that doesn't think but do but now um, now it is really an opportunity to really look very well at the new ideas that prompt into your life new ideas are probably going to be very good ideas so it's a good time to listen to those new ideas that have to do with you, have to do with you profiling yourself to the world, maybe have to do with your health, or maybe have to do with how you want to step into the world, your life path. Whatever it is that prompts into your head, the ideas that you're having, listen to them and take the first step. That is the Aries moon. So it's not like jumping into something, but taking the first step courageously and then letting go of your action. And I think Aries people mostly are good at that. They are good at doing something and then letting go of it. And that's why uh, they, you are a cardinal sign. So that's why those people or a lot of Aries people are seen as successful because they put the action there 100% fiery and then they let go of it which means that they're not insecure they're not going to turn back they're not going to worry and this is negative energy around you when you do that so it's a good time to be you it's a good time to be an Aries of course always uh, connected to your higher self or God or the divine or whatever you want to call it but very much, um, it's a time when Aries people are very much going to encounter 
their strong needs and then act upon it in a good way. The 22nd of October, there's a Mercury retrograde. So for all of us, there's going to be a rethink after that first little step that we have taken. And for you, it's going to happen in your eighth house, which is a very deep, uh, a deep house and a house that is about your self-worth, a house that is about other people's money, a house that is about the worth that other people give to you and the support that other people give to you. So there is also stuff about that that you're going to think about. Maybe you're going to think about metaphysical stuff, about what, why we are here, um, about the, 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 the transformation of your soul. So this is all deep stuff that is probably triggered by the changes that you have made the first two or three weeks of um, October. And then comes a time where you're really going to think deeply about stuff. Um, and which is really going to be good for you. So really thinking about um, what life is all about. So if you are the Aries um, or the, the stone that I associate with this energy is, which is very actually very airy stone, is Jaspis or Jaspis. So if you are already you're, if if you are already a, a quite a temperament having a temperament or if you are quite choleric you don't need to wear something um, that is made out of justice but maybe you are an Aries who is a bit down and who has a bit lost his or her courage then it is a very good stone to get your courage again to get active again and towards making the necessary steps that you need to make for yourself so Wish you all the best, all you Aryans out there. Um, if you want to see a video about the Sun and the Pluto Uranus, because this is this is an aspect happening the first week, you can click on the link below as well. And of course, if you want a consultation, that is also possible. I'll have put a link of the services that I provide. Anyway, wish you a very good week, another week, a month. Maybe I should start doing the weeklies. I don't know if. If I should, just let me know. I wish you all the best and uh, have a good month. Bye-bye.